Next this evening, the government calls it unacceptable. Water companies say it's concerning, but for now it continues at alarming rates. Untreated sewage being pumped into rivers and the sea. Last year in England, sewage was legally released on 400,000 separate occasions. The discharges are permitted to stop sewers overflowing after heavy rain, but campaigners say they happen too often. All this week, we're looking at what can be done to reduce the practice. In his first report, James Ingham has been to meet people in Hampshire to hear how their lives are affected and what Southern Water plans to do. Dear Southern Water, for you. 13-year-old Ruthie has written passionately to the company that's too often spilling sewage into the sea she loves. Tons of sewage are being dumped in Chichester Harbour. And as the ecosystem perishes, the people feel the effects too. Ruthie's a keen sailor, but she and her friends have at times been told by adults that they can't get in the water after discharges of sewage from nearby pipes. It makes it particularly difficult for things like sea swimming. Um, it's quite often that it's just, we know that it would be really bad if we did go in the water. It would make us quite ill um, for a long time during junior race week and things there were no swimmers because it wasn't safe enough. The pollution Ruthie has encountered is likely to be caused by what are known as combined sewer overflows, when sewage mixed with rainwater is released into the sea without treatment. All water companies are allowed to do this after heavy rain to prevent sewers backing up. This video filmed in neighbouring Langston Harbour shows the effect that has. While much of this brown water is disturbed mud, this release will contain raw sewage. Last year in Chichester and Langston Harbours, Southern Water's pipes spilled these storm discharges for nearly 2,500 hours, the equivalent of 102 days and nights. The company says it is addressing the issue. We plan to reduce the use of our storm overflows by 80% by 2030. That investment has already started. We are investing £2 billion over the next five years. On this site in particular, we're investing £18 million to improve the infrastructure and reduce the use of the storm overflow that discharges into Langston Harbour. That will partly be achieved by increasing the number of these storm tanks which hold wastewater when incoming flows are high during heavy rain. But once they're full, the waste has to be dumped at sea. They do fill up quickly. Uh, part of the scheme that we are building uh, in the next two years is to increase the size of these by volume. So there'll be two more tanks, a 50% increase in volume, along with an uh, increase in the treatment capacity of the treatment works as well, 40% increase. They will certainly help. The combination of those things will help. But in extreme events, they will fill up and the outfall will be used. So our next, next, next plan of attack will be to go into the catchment and to remove or reduce the amount of rainfall that hits, hits our system. This is the entrance to Langston Harbour. But critics the harbor. say the company lacks ambition. Mike frequently windsurfs nearby on Hailing Island. You can see where the, uh, the nearest outfall is. That's Port Cumberland Port, in Portsmouth? Yeah, Port Cumberland, which has now been fixed as far as discharges are concerned, pretty much. With bigger storage tanks? Yeah, 40,000 cubic metres of it. But the problem still exists at the sewage treatment works on the other side of the harbour. That's correct. Yeah, they only have 7,000 cubic metres. Southern Water are putting more storage capacity in there, but would you argue that's not sufficient? I, I would argue it's completely insufficient. And they're telling us that they're going to spend £18 million on uh, adding an extra 50% to that, making it about 10,500 cubic metres. But that's, that's just nowhere near enough. They, they need to up that, I reckon to 20 or even 30,000 cubic metres. Some people we've spoken to have said that the extra capacity here you're creating is still not enough. Is not doubling, tripling the size of this a better option? Where does that end? Because this is carbon intensive to build and operate. We firmly believe that these are part of the solution, but we would like to go into the catchment. That is, that is the more sustainable way of doing it, in our, in our opinion. And we'd start with nature-based solutions as the first line you then try to optimise the assets and infrastructure we have, but also partners have, so we don't operate all of the infrastructure responsible for the problem. And actually the last resort should be uh, building infrastructure like this one uh, and making it larger. Southern Water says it's ready to demonstrate that it's serious about protecting the environment, including tackling sewer overflows. That's good news for water sports enthusiasts like Ruthie and others. 
but it's currently rated as the worst performing water company, so it knows earning back lost trust won't be easy. James Ingham, BBC South Today.